Yeah, well, there's a slight change of plans for my painting. Remember I told you that I thought I would use the double click and um, use semi-gloss in here on the walls and the ceiling. Initially, I was thinking of putting uh, semi-gloss white on here, the same color as I painted the doors and the door jams and the trim and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I thought I would just do away with the white and just do um, double click the ceilings and the walls in here because it really the white really doesn't stand out as much as I thought it would but and then you wouldn't have to do all the cut in see but upon further evaluation I've got the semi gloss this is pure white and then this is the is the semi gloss the double click the double click see right there it says double click and um, that is the semi gloss well I only have about a half a gallon left I don't think I'm going to have enough to do the ceiling uh, because the ceiling I may have to do two coats I'm not quite sure yet because of this gray color on the walls I know I have enough to do just the walls in this little bathroom because look I don't have to do it from here to there I only have to go from here to there around the door and then this little section of wall and later on down the wall I still have to do the semi-gloss um, gray in this bathroom this is the this is the master bathroom and you see I was I was gonna do the whole ceiling with that double click but I just don't think I'm gonna have enough paint and in fact look at this I got to do that and then I've got to do up over that over there that this little wall and I'm not quite sure I'm hoping I'm hoping to have enough of the double click semi gloss for both bathrooms out of the rest of this out of the rest of this container and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that I've got I've got maybe half half a gallon in there or just a hair less now when you put semi gloss on semi gloss walls that have already been painted you can go a lot further than if this was just a flat wall and you're putting two coats of semi gloss and the semi gloss paint was was soaking up into the first coat. I'm hoping uh, to maybe just be able to do one coat on here. We'll see. And if not, you know, worst case scenario, I have to go back to the store and get some more. But I was hoping not to have to get any more. This is this stuff's not cheap. It's like uh, 28 bucks or so a gallon, and I've got plenty of white. And initially, I was thinking about doing the white on the ceilings, anyways, because in the closets. In the closets I did white with the semi-gloss you see up in here that believe it or not is semi-gloss paint up there is kind of hard to see and um, all the all the bedrooms I did flat white uh, ceiling paint and I got some storage closets and then also this this other closet I've got a storage closet downstairs I painted that white and I painted this ceiling white and the reason why I decided to paint these white instead of the the double click was because I thought maybe uh, the light would uh, bounce off the ceiling better with the white instead of the wall paint color and as I remember in here I ended up having to do two coats when I put that white on I have to put two coats over that gray over that tan color but see, I initially had gotten way more uh, paint. I ended up having uh, two gallons of this. I think I've got, I've got at least this much left from here down because I ended up painting all the doors. I might have gotten three gallons of that and now I've got three quarters of a gallon left because I painted all the doors, both sides, and um, all the door jams. And then I painted the baseboards. All the baseboards have been repainted. And so that's why I thought I would do all the ceilings with that white. I really didn't want to do that in these bathrooms because I'm getting tired of doing the cut-in. 
I'm gonna have to be real careful when I when I cut in especially along where the grout line is and stuff but um, that's what I've decided I'm doing white ceilings and the um, gray on the walls okay and see here I've got uh, I thought I had some kills this is called Zenzer mold killing primer I'm gonna end up using this kills existing mold mildew and odor causing bacteria I'm just going to use this as a primer over all these different little spots um, everywhere up on the ceiling down over here do yourself a favor and do that you don't want to use your finished paint directly over stuff that you've already spackled on the walls especially if you're changing colors and, and such okay and so now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that on and <laughs> as you were Recall, I told you I wasn't going to put any craft paper in the bath in the bathtub. I, I decided to do that. I just folded some craft paper over the toilet seat, and see, I just I just kind of slot on that, ran this over, bent that down, and put it on here. I'm going to end up using this sink to to rinse things out, and I'm I don't have this tape down. I just lift this up off of there. But uh, the reason why I did that is because I want I want you to see at the end, you'll you'll have small tiny little. Uh, droplets of paint after I paint this ceiling nuts and probably the, uh, the walls too once I do the walls some of that's going to come down I may end up putting some masking tape on this on this top edge before I do the walls or after I do the walls I have to make sure I wipe this this edge off and such okay all right I'm gonna uh, end up getting paint up on the ceiling in a minute I thought I'd show you some different things you could use to roll that on there. You know, um, I don't normally use a 9-inch roller on ceilings anymore. Usually, I'll, I'll just take a 6-inch roller cover. And I used to use these all the time with just the small hole here, you know, and, and push it in like that. And then I would use something like that. Well, last time I went to the store, I got some I got some different roller covers. I got these, and these are three quarter inch. See how nice and fat they are. But I, when I got when I got back to the job site, I saw a big hole on the end because I'm used to seeing a small hole. See there? And I thought, oh brother, what what am I going to do now? And so they had this at the store, and um, it's designed. To fit in that big hole, and um, I thought, well, this one, this one's for a four inch, not a six inch. And I looked around in the store; I could not find. Lo and behold, I could not find a six inch until I finally realized this one. You you use this for a four inch long mini roller as well as a six inch. You just push it in there, and it and it's and it sets on there. It's nice and it's nice and sturdy. And it's got a little ball bearing thing in there and stuff and and it works it works actually pretty good and believe it or not see see how this one's kind of smashed down a little bit this these these two used to be as nice and thick as those two see I don't really want to use these just yet but I thought I thought in a pinch I could still save these and do a few more ceilings so I'm gonna end up I'm going to end up using these. I'll pick the best one out of the two, I guess. And it's 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 a it's a, a, a spray texture ceiling, but it, it's it's not that heavy of a spray texture, so I know I can get by with these. And believe it or not, they have a four inch. See here, this is this is for a four inch mini roller like this this kind and um, I generally use that for when I'm painting doors all of these doors I painted with a four inch mini roller like this and an extension pole my extension pole what do you suppose is my extension pole broom broom handle and lots of times the threads will fit exactly in there. Sometimes you have to check 
because I've noticed a couple of times some broom handles the threads may not fit on there and if they don't you can wrap some if it's too loose you can wrap some masking tape around here a few times and then put it in your roller your, your roller frame and that's how I painted all those I painted all these um, with a paintbrush for the for the edges for the joints the seams you know and then I painted everything else with the with the mini roller and they came out really good of course I've got those on my channel too under painting go to my main YouTube channel page click on playlists and go down to painting I'll show you how to paint doors these these doors turned out really super good I'm really pleased with how they turned out and I show you all about that okay let's see see this one here is pretty much a throwaway this one used to be the same size as these see and you can get you can get them different this is this is smooth to semi smooth surfaces 3 8 snap and I would use something like that uh, for painting uh, door frames and stuff. I, last time I ended, I actually ended up using, I think I ended up using this cover right here. It was a little bit uh, finer. This was, I think, quarter inch. This was three eighths. I think I used the quarter inch. I used this one right here, as a matter of fact. And uh, it came out really super good. And when I put on, when I put on just the uh, paint, you know, for the uh, primer and those certain areas, I'm just going to use a throwaway brush. I don't have to pull out my good paint brush for that. But then when I get ready to cut in, I, I, I've been using this one here. See how small the handle is? This one happens to be, oh, I don't know what it is, two inch. Here it is, two inch. See there? And um, that's what I'm going to use for doing the cut in. And it's just a little rubber handle and see how that how that's cut at an angle. Um, you find the one like that, see? And this thing cuts in really super good. I got a lot of control over that. Um, I do have another uh, brush. See how long this one is? And this one happens to be a two and a half. I used I used to use this one for all my cut in and this one this one actually works really good too. Okay. And that's about that's about all I'm gonna use. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up using just this tray. Just this painter's tray. Um, see, I I've never put paint in there. I just get inserts, put them in there. And I've got different inserts in here, so I'll pull one out that's got some white paint on it or or something. Here's one right there. And if, even if it's got a different color paint, that's fine. As long as you don't use use it out of that all day long, because then eventually over time it could start loosening up whatever color paint you got in there, and you don't want to get that mixed in with your paint. Okay, and that's and that's pretty much all I'm going to do. I don't need I don't need a a uh, a painter frame with the nine inch roller covers. You know the big fat ones. This is a six inch, this is a six inch uh, roller cover. And I'm gonna use that with this, okay? And then I'm just gonna screw that right into my, my uh, broom handle and away I go. That's all you need. So yeah, over time you're gonna end up having to buy a few different paint supplies and all that kind of stuff. But hey, you can do that because you're not paying somebody to paint all your stuff for you. From now on, you're going to do it yourself. And see, I just keep I just keep all my extra stuff in here. I got all kinds of paint sticks. See, this is for my big old fat roller. When I do walls, I'll use something like that. I think this is lambskin roller or or a commercial construction grade. Let's see what it is. Here, here's one right here. Super fab, extra rough, inch and a quarter map, and uh, high production. Um, uh, and that's what I end up using. I use that. That's the same. That's the same one. See. And actually, this is not lambskin cover. Um, 
lambskin costs a little bit more, but uh, lots of painters swear by them, by lambskin color see here I've got a couple extra ones of those like if I if I do walls in a closet or something I may end up using my six inch roller or, or for all of the ceilings in the condo I used I used this believe it or not right here that my six inch this is actually six and a half inch nap roller I don't know why they did that instead of six but anyways keep all that stuff in there I've got sand sanding pads for my hand paddle sander <laughs> every time you go to the store you just ask them for a couple more mixing uh, things they give them to you and you know you'll end up start getting yourself quite the collection you know but hey I've got I've got that bucket for my painting stuff and then I got I just I just set this off to the side with all my painting stuff and I'm ready to rock and roll anytime I paint.